In April 2020, Iceland made an exception to the country's narcotics law, allowing the import of hemp seeds for the first time. Farmer said Kristen Jeez. quickly spotted an opportunity to be at the forefront of what they hope will be an approaching hemp revolution in Iceland. We see a lot of room for innovation in this market. We think that hemp is thriving really well in, uh, in the Icelandic atmosphere. Hiti and stutt summer and long solar all kinds of things that are to advance. And on the other hand, it comes to the earth, the rain, the rain, the rain, the rain, and the rain, and the rain, the rain, the rain, the rain, og sveppir og alls konar svona dótari í sko. Það er reynt og gott á Íslandi. <laughs> og hampurinn, hann finnur fyrir því. We see opportunities there, yes, for innovation and for um, diversification of our economic life. Diversification might indeed be needed. In recent years, Iceland has become increasingly reliant on tourism. In 2018, tourists outnumbered the local population 7 to 1. In 2020, international visitors dropped 70% compared to 2019, delivering a devastating punch to many local businesses. Some see hemp as a way of giving the country's farming sector a new and much needed push. Here on Iceland, they have thrown and very tabuleg, finds me. My chair room here, or my sequeria yard, and of fight to run a river, very aidy. Breta steeper, a summer busta lunt, a free stunt a big, or equa slicht. Og sama tíma eru fréttir af hungri í heiminum og, og alls konar veseni. Sveið mig svo því hérta var flytti hérna í þessa dásanlegu sveit hérna í Grímsnes og Grafningi. Var hvað marga jarðir voru sem sagt stórar landríkar jarðir, kannski þúsund, tól, þrettan, undur hektarar og engin búskapur. Bara, þú veist, einna stóru fallegu hlutunum í þessu að fá aftur bændu til að nýtja löndin sín og verða aftur bændur, ekki bara turista. <laughs> now at this point you might be thinking, hemp, cannabis, what's the difference again? Hemp is a strain of cannabis which has lower levels of THC, the stuff that gets you high. What got businesses buzzing about hemp, however, is its high concentration of CBD, a non-psychoactive chemical which wellness gurus swear by as a method for battling anxiety and pain. Some like a mjög vel að borða þetta bara svona hrátt eins og snakk. Sonur minn, 13 ára, verða 14. Hann kúfar þetta í sig alveg í, í hérna, stórum vísin þegar hann kemur í heimsótinni. Og það, það þarf ykkur aðferðir, sem sagt, hildunar aðferð og annað til að virkja CBD og þess að þar. En... CBD was legalized in America in 2018. The following year, sales jumped 562%, eventually leading to an oversupply of hemp and a price drop of 20 to 40%. Still, the analytics company New Frontier Data valued the US CBD market at almost $15 billion in 2020. <laughs> búskapur í heiminum í dag þegar að hampurinn verður orðin eðinnaður á Íslandi sem að ég sé það þarf sjálfsagt tvö, þrjú ár til að þróa þetta í að verða svona alvur í raun hafi bransi The future of Iceland's hemp industry still faces one major hurdle though While CBD is no longer defined as a narcotic it is classified as a medicine, making it difficult to market products containing CBD. Basically, it's not classified as a narcotic. It is not on the list of prohibited substances. But at the same time, it is not entirely clear if it is permitted or not. And what we are doing is suggesting, with the health uh, suggesting to the health minister that she find a way to open the market, allow people to use, uh, uh, to market this material in whichever way she thinks is most appropriate for the Icelandic market. So that's what our, our bill is about. Outside of the market for CBD, hemp's potential as a durable material has spurred the interest of many who believe it could be used to make clothes, food, construction materials, or even fuel. The toy giant Lego has announced they will switch to hemp plastic by 2030 and Levi's has introduced jeans made from hemp. 
We are very environmentally focused here in Iceland. I think we'll find many good uses for the industrial hub. Already we see some sprouts happening. I think the market will have to answer how big it'll get.